there. Let's talk to Theo from Tampa, Florida, who's calling us first of all today. uh, Theo, welcome to The Narrow Path, and thank you for calling. Hi, Steve. Hi. Um, I, I, um, this question pertains to Christians. In the, um, in the Bible, you know, Christians are encouraged to not sin. And, yes. um, and I guess if we do sin, to repent. One, one thing I wasn't, I've not been quite clear on, what's the consequence of not repenting, of a believer not, um, I guess, getting, I don't know, falling into sin and, and not repenting of that? And one of the consequences is that person fails to conceal the fact that they are not loving God. That's the consequence. You see, if you do love God, you will repent when you know you've injured him. And if you don't love God, then you will not be motivated to repent when you know you've injured him. Mm-hmm. It's just like if you are married and you uh, insult your wife and you're not sorry. You know, all, you've, all you've shown us then is that you don't love your wife. If you do love your wife, you'll be sorry and you'll seek to uh, express that to her. So uh, a person who is a Christian at least uh, professes to, to be a lover of God. Anyone who loves God will be sorry to know that they've displeased God and will repent. So the person that you're describing who does not repent is simply pointing out that they're deficient in their love for God. And the consequence, I suppose, would be that God is displeased. Okay. Um, now, there are some scriptures that say if um, you know if you give yourself to sin, if you become a slave of sin, it leads to death. Um, what context? Uh, can you put that in a context? You're thinking of uh, Romans chapter six. There, I believe what Romans six says from verse fifteen on is that if you are uh, living in sin, you show that sin is your master. Because uh, whoever you lend your members as uh, instruments to obey uh, or servants to obey, his servant you are. So if you're living in sin, if that's your lifestyle, then what you are advertising and and exhibiting beyond question is that you are a slave of sin. It is your master because that's who you're obeying. If you uh, live in righteousness and obedience to God, then what you're exhibiting is that God is your master and you're a Christian. Uh, so, it, now, it does not uh, in that passage say, although some people may read it that way, it does not say that if you sin a sufficient number of times, you will become a slave of sin. Though, although the passage doesn't tell us that, that may well be true, because we are creatures of habit. And if we do sin, the same sin over and over again, um, I guess, it's, I guess uh, you know, it's kind of a common sense that you're forming a habit, and habits are hard to break. So, uh, while I don't believe the Bible says that if you repeat your sins, you'll become in bondage to them, necessarily. The passages that talk about being in bondage to sin are the one I mentioned in Romans uh, 6, and also in uh, John chapter 8. Jesus said, whoever commits sin is the slave of sin. Now, he didn't say whoever commits sin becomes the slave of sin. He says whoever commits sin is the slave of sin. So, uh, sinning is the uh, evidence of of your slavery. Now, again, like I said, I, I do believe that we are creatures of habit, and so to continue committing and repeating a certain sin, or for that matter, to continue repeating a certain good behavior, is likely to form a habit. And once you have a habit, that's difficult to break. But as a Christian, if you are a Christian, then um, you are not the slave of sin you may become entangled in sin. And this can actually come to the point where you decide not to be a Christian anymore. That is, if a person loves their sin, they may decide that they love their sin more than they love God and wish to depart from the faith. They may wish to become a follower of sin rather than a follower of God. In which case, I believe they have apostatized. And if you wonder what the consequence for that is, I think it's the same consequence as for unbelievers. Okay. Okay.